Hello, my beautiful little muglets. Today, we are going to open our five-star guaranteed thing. Um, as you can see, we have hesitated for two days so we can share this experience together. Um, it's been a little bit hard, wondering what's behind that book. But yeah, we're gonna do that now. If it's a duplicate, well then, I don't know what the rest of the video is gonna be. If it's not a duplicate, we're gonna talk about it, maybe future plans for it. But um, yeah, without further ado, kaboom! Uh, here we go. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's her. It's uh, not the uh, Moonlight version. I think she's um, yeah, I don't know, completely outclassed by her Moonlight version, of course. But um, yeah, I don't know. She is AOE, and I do lack AOE, so could could consider it, of course. By the way, completely off topic, I have the AC running in the background. I'm sorry if you can hear it and it's disturbing you, um, but it's way too hot, so yeah. I never really took much time to look at her, to be honest, just of course the Moonlight version. But um, yeah, AoE, 80% chance to burn, increased caster's combat readiness by 50%. You know, not, not bad. Hopefully it's decent damage. Catalyst? Oh! She gives an attack buff. I didn't even know that. If an enemy is burned, d damage to all enemies, making them unhealable for two turns. That's a pretty interesting skill, actually. And then her first one is just another chance to burn with a missing space there between the A and 35%. I don't know why that just, there that is. Let's go grab those crystals as well. I don't know, like kind of the problem is I have a bunch of heroes now. I kind of want to wait till we get all those updates where we can start crafting like accessories and stuff. But before I start like, Upgrading a bunch of heroes. Can we actually go to the heroes, please, Moga? Can you get there for me? I did rearrange some gear on Luluka. Uh, as you can see, she has a lot more speed now, a little bit less attack, a little bit more crit chance, I think. Maybe, I don't know. A little bit less effectiveness. So yeah, of course there are some trade-offs. I wanna get her even faster though, or again, get Dizzy a little slower, even though I would hate to make Dizzy slower. I just, I don't know, don't want to do that. I really regret not farming up this violin more. As you can see, it's only two awakens, because then I could put that on her, and then, you know, if they have immunity sets. If they don't have immunity sets, she can still defense break, so that would be really cool. But naturally, if I'm gonna make Luluka faster, I would also have to get rid of this, as it wouldn't really do anything then. But yeah, I've heard a lot of people saying Luluka is underwhelming. And yeah, I mean, of course, that's kinda gonna be the case if they're not completely meta for Arena. Uh, then of course all the late game or in game players are gonna say she's bad because that's like all they have left, at least for now. But still, as someone who doesn't have Bellona, an AoE defense breaker could definitely be useful. So where are you, Ara? I actually kinda don't like you because of your Moonlight variant, but where are you? Damn, I actually can't find her. So well, uh, there she is. She has pretty good uh, base speed, not really, but kinda. I mean, she's not awakened yet. I don't know if she will get awakened stuff. Oh, she's also a mage? I mean, yeah, what else? But I don't know, mages have such good artifacts. Check out Max. Okay, speed doesn't go up. Attack is okay for a mage, actually. Mages don't usually have very high base attack, in my, I think. Oh, well, Tenebria does, my god. Oh, so does she, kinda. I guess Ara doesn't have very high base attack. More than haste, though. And I've seen Haste do some decent damage. Oh wait, Haste is a thief. But thieves actually should have high base attack as well. Whatever. That's, again, pretty off topic. Then again, what actually is the topic of this video? Because we did the five star ticket and that was kind of the topic. Should have saved that for the end, like... What? I know! Let's do some arena battles! That's always something you can do when you don't know what to do. I don't want to fight any of these dudes. I'm mostly sticking to NPC challenges, if I'm honest. <laughs> Literally a full line of dizzies there. <laughs> it's funny how they're all in the same position as well. Let's refresh. Yes, look at this. We can do this one, guys. I think my Judith should be faster than their Silk. And then I think we should have enough uh, single target damage. Yes, we were faster, thankfully. I think it was probably pretty close. Now let's see, I'm really hoping uh, Silk doesn't resist all of these debuffs. We really need those debuffs. Please, please. It did miss, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. Must have a lot of... Okay, we, we that was very close, but we were able to pull it off. All right, let's try a slightly more real battle. Oh, well, those Ruzids can be super fast. Not as fast as Judith, at least base speed-wise. Thankfully, we were faster. Uh, 
no immunity. I'm too I'm too low in arena for immunity sets, I think. At least full immunity sets. Like I've seen some with like one of their dudes, usually the Dizzy with an immunity set or so. Boom! And says actually should be able to kill the rest probs. Also, I don't know why sometimes LD player doesn't like this game and makes it very, very choppy as you can see. Kabonk! A little dizzy left. See ya. Really gotta get better gear for those other two. I don't think I take Arena seriously enough to be honest, but that's like the first thing I think about when like a new hero comes out, like if they're gonna be good or not in Arena. And that's usually how I'm gearing my dudes is based on Arena. But then like at the end of the day, I'm doing NPC challenges, you know? Probably I'm just hoping eventually that somehow a magical perfect Arena team will come all together for me and then I could just stomp all over everyone all the way up to Legends. I would actually only really need that uh, auxiliary lots, man. I've seen some amazing things with him and says. Oh, these guys are kind of tanky, actually. Well, um, might be able to get rid of Ravi. I mean, Ravi took. Oh, right, because Dizzy's water. Yeah, let's try. Says is way too weak right now. I really need to upgrade his gear. But hopefully, wow. All right, um, it's a tough choice. Should I do the AoE and just hope Luna dies? No critical on Luna. That's really freaking sad. Please. Ugh. Okay. Well, I don't think I need it says, but it's cool. Alrighty. And yeah, I'm not really using Lulica because again, I still have to get her faster than Dizzy if I want that sort of team to try and work out. I'd probably get rid of Shuri for that team because most of the time I don't really need him anyway. He's really only there for the speed imprint, and for that I should like raise a Helga, so I could at least get like also an attack buff or something, maybe, on like the second turn. Let's burn that up. Also, I've been kind of trying to see if there'd be a way to do this without Judith or some other combat readiness pusher, but I kind of don't think so. Cleave teams kind of need that, I guess. Uh, who should we get? Uh, we could try and get rid of Biken, but we have the elemental disadvantage. Dizzy looks a little tanky. Ruzid would be the most safe, but it'd be kind of a waste. Um, damn. Well, I think our Shuri should go next, so we can risk it a little bit. I'm not sure if I want to. All right, let's risk it. Thankfully, it's a crit. Oh, I think he has 100% crit, so it would be kind of weird if it wasn't. And that should work, yeah. And boom! Get out of here, Angelica. Mbop. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could try this team. There is that dude in there, the Horado, I think he's called, which is kind of like a knockoff ML ball. Yeah, he doesn't increase his combat readiness that much. I think Judith increases my teams more, so as long as Dizzy is faster than him naturally, which she is, we should still go first, even though he'll get jumped up. What? Oh, okay, whatever though. You had your chance and you messed it up. Yeah, okay, there must be something I don't really understand. Um, but regardless, they are all debuffed in now, so even if they do, even if like she doesn't get pushed back, which she did anyway. Oh my god, they're tanky as all hell. What? Oh yeah, there's like only tanks here. Okay. Should we try and get rid of the tank or ML Aura? Like, ML Aura is kind of the only dangerous one there. The others can't really do anything except tank. Uh, but on the other hand, I would like to actually kill someone with Sez so that we can get some other damage going on there. I should probably try and get rid of, like, Destina because she'll take all the debuffs off. Eh, whatever. Let's go for the tank up front and then we'll try and kill the tank with Sez if uh, he can't do it. Oh, that's annoying. All right, well, please kill the Aura then. That should work. And Kerchunk. Okay, alone Destina isn't much of a threat, I suppose. Ugh, gotta be annoying, Destina. All right, there it is. And I think that's all the arena tickets we got. Oh yeah, I got educated on Askart, by the way. Apparently the first hit on him is always a miss, and then that, that like resets every turn, so... Yeah, no wonder I miss all the time. Let's try this team. It looks pretty cleavy, to be honest. I mean, I know Dizzy can be super fast. I just, I really have a lot of confidence in my Judith, so. And as long as Judith is faster, then our Dizzy can go first and wreck them up since they do not have immunity sets. See ya, boom, chop. And now go to the back of the line. One of them didn't, the Dizzy. Should we try and kill the Dizzy? Yeah. Boop! You go to Delete Town. Okay, but yeah, this was uh, 
an arena video in disguise, actually. But yeah, I mean, what else is there to talk about with the five star? I kind of just gave my initial first impressions. She does sound pretty good, though. Uh, attack buff? I mean, I'm not even sure for, like, arena purposes, but, like, the attack buff sounds good. You know, attack buffs are always nice. Then, like, some AoE in there. You know, you know, it's cool, it's cool. I'm sure she could be decent as well if you don't have ML Aura. I might just, like, hold on to her. Maybe I will get ML Aura at one point. Or, I mean, she was in, like, Mystic Summons. I don't know how, how often they, like, rotate. Or did she get thrown in the normal? Or I forgot how that works. Do they go into Moonlight after, like, their Mystic sort of showcase? Yeah, she is there. One day, seven hours till we can try for Cecilia. We're going to, of course. Who else we got down here? Ludwig? Who cares about Ludwig? Wouldn't it be so messed up if you did her ult, gave everyone skill nullifier, and then one of the enemies was like a dizzy with a counter set on? Just by coincidence? But yeah, I guess that'll pretty much do it for today. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below about Aura, not the Moonlight version. If you have her, if you've raised her, what do you use her for? Do you actually bring her in Arena? Uh, or anywhere else? Uh, drop it down there. Also, leaving a like if you happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks. As always for watching, and until next time.